a full week and I had a trip to the Lake District too. Awesome. So stick around for some hills, for some lovely views and some dreadful weather too. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. But if you're new to this channel, then please check out some of my other training vlogs. Monday. I always like the start of a new week, but wow, yeah, they roll around fast. But yeah, Monday, always super easy. Easy run in the morning and uh, for those of you who watch the Run to the Hills podcast, it was a love run this morning. Lisa and I shared a few miles together, went for a coffee, it was lovely. Um, but yeah, if you're looking on Strava, you'll see it exceeded my rule of easy runs, recovery runs, not being over an hour. But that's because I was just faffing around, filming bits and bobs. So yeah, it was a super easy run, about six six miles then in the evening just a super small loop of the village with Rex just over three miles what I am doing like a massive idiot I keep forgetting to put my heart rate strap on so we all know how garbage um, optical heart rate sensors are around the wrist or for me at least they are so yeah all my heart rate data it's probably said I'm doing a threshold run as I'm talking to camera now so a bit annoyed that I keep forgetting to do that but yeah, hopefully you remember for the quality sessions. But yeah, that's Monday done. What's that? Tuesdays are always super busy. You know how busy Tuesdays are for me. Uh, but the day always starts with a little run around the village with Rex, which is awesome. But yeah, after the run with Rex, we just dive straight in to podcasting and Tuesday was the same as normal so yeah we spend about an hour uh, chatting and stuff and I really love the weekly catch up you know Eddie and I do whatsapp a bit during the week but we have a great good proper catch up on a Tuesday and we record the show at the same time I really enjoy it um, so yeah if you like trail running and you um, aren't fed up of seeing my face Head over to Apple Podcast, Spotify, search for Under the Hills Podcast, and we'll pop up there. Yeah, check us out. After we record the show, I have to knuckle down and start the editing. And wow, yeah, God, it fries my brain. Um, I enjoy doing it, but standing in front of a computer for that amount of time, God, it takes a toll. Yeah, I get a real banging headache. Um, and don't fancy going for a run for the rest of the day. What is awesome is get yourself a community, get yourself a group, and I'm super lucky with our Thirsty Thursday crew, and I've got my running bestie, Robbo, who we go out most Tuesdays together, and this week was the same, and it was 10 minutes, a uh, warm up, sorry, 10 minutes of threshold pace, then five times three minutes of threshold pace, and then finishing off with another 10 minutes with a cool down, there's a 90 second rest, in between all of those efforts. That's 35 minutes of hard running, which is super good. And the weather was horrible. So it was all effort based, heart rate based, um, that Garmin zone four. But it was horrible weather, really windy, raining. Um, and Peter Lee is quite undulating too. And I always feel like when the weather turns or it's hilly, I just crumble, I'm not a strong, Runner, how do you get on? You know, if it's blown a gale or a chilly, what are your strength and weaknesses? Easy day on Wednesday, just two easy runs, but wow, we got drenched. Rex and I tried to wait for a weather window, but it just never came, so we had to head out. And yeah, we both got soaked, but super easy miles. I think three or four in the morning, five in the evening, did my core workout too so yeah getting that done on a wednesday is good i don't feel like i'm gonna be chasing it all week so that was nice trying to improve the quality 
and the range of motion and the movement on my strength sessions. I noticed when I look back at some of the footage from the vlog that, uh, yeah, maybe I was taking a few shortcuts. So just try and that's free, you know, it's free stuff if you improve your form <clears throat> as opposed to just putting more weight on and bad form. It doesn't cost you anything just to do things better. So yeah, that's the plan. Oh, this weather is dreadful. <laughs> Feels like it's rained all week. Ugh, I hate the wind there. Someone whisked me off somewhere hot for a few months. Ugh. Not enjoying this at all. Whoa, came down here for a bit of shelter. It is absolutely dreadful. I'm not too sure if you can hear that wind or not, but yeah, it's wild out there. Thursdays, yeah, we always start the day with a couple of just very short run commutes. Save the legs for the evening session. And this week it should have been 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes with 90 seconds, I think, recovery. All that threshold pace, but because uh Paul and the other Gary have killed a marathon at the weekend. We thought we'd just modify the session and we just went out for a run. It wasn't super easy, uh, but it by no means was hard too. And to be honest, I was quite glad. I felt like I had a bit of a sugar crash. It's funny because on the podcast this week, we've got a Super Sapiens um, competition all about monitoring your glucose. And yeah, I really felt a dip in my sugar. So luckily I had a half a packet of... Um, Oh my goodness, what they call jelly tots, jelly tots on me, just to give me a welcome sugar boost to get me around that run. Uh, so yeah, run commutes, and then the Thursday Thursday, which was good. Hopefully this weather improves because we're supposed to be going to the lakes on Saturday for a two to Helvellyn recce, and we're gonna do um, Glenridden loop all the way around Helvellyn. You never summit Helvellyn, which is lucky because the forecast for Helvellyn summit on Saturday is not very welcoming at all. I'm sure I saw a few lightning strikes on the Met Office app. So yeah, keep them well away from that. Hopefully they've got their forecast a little bit wrong. You know, I don't fancy being out on this when we're high up, going over Sticks Pass and uh, Grisdale Tarn, places like that. But it is what it is. We'll take all the right kits. I'm sure we'll have a great day, whatever. There's myself, Robbo and Aaron and maybe other Gary, <laughs> even though he's got Kayla the next day, not 100% sure if he's going to be there or not. I think Gary, if you're watching this, you should maybe give Saturday a miss and save your legs for Sunday. Easy day Friday, so no dramas apart from the weather. It was dreadful and I did squeeze in my upper body workout. Went to the lakes on Saturday and we did a tour de Helvellyn race route recce robo aaron and i went over there it was great actually about 16 miles uh 4000 feet of elevation so pretty good day out and uh two different events start at a place called askham then you run to uh patterdale <clears throat> and then basically do a loop of hell Velen. you do not summit hell Velen, fortunately but yeah it is hilly enough the purpose of the recce was to get a bit more familiar with some of the lines in the uk with fell races you don't always have to stick to the path and we've seen some people who weren't taking the path last time we did it. So we thought we'd try and explore the lines and the routes they took. Yeah, we made a bit of a meal of it, to be honest, but I think we've got a bit more knowledge for next time. It's awesome where we live. You get some great trails, but even this just doing the pass. So it's about three mile from car to Sticks Pass, which would be our highest point for this first section. Just can't replicate that where we live.
Oh my goodness, I was so tired on Sunday. I was marshalling at the Trail Outlaws Pinshaw 10k trail race, um, but to get my run in and to get Rex sorted, I was up at 5.30, you know, after a big day on Saturday, that was not a welcome alarm call. But yeah, Rex and I went out for about five and a half miles, which was good, and a dog walk. Not gonna lie, I had a little bit of doms from Saturday's run, which I didn't expect, did feel it on my glutes and thighs workout. So yeah, glutes and thighs the day after a big hilly run, maybe not ideal, but it's done now. All the sessions done strength wise for the week. So yeah, it's good. Thanks for watching. And if you like this, then please check out some of my other training vlogs. You take care everybody. See you all soon.